three ways to discern the revealed will of God. Three major ways. There may be many, you may find them in many textbooks, but three major ways. To discern the will of God ready number one peace and joy write it down believe me brothers and sisters don't trivialize what you are hearing peace and joy the Bible says look up it says the kingdom of God when it is manifested it is not in meat and drink right but it is in righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost many believers have walked out of the will of god the revealed will of god because they neglected the peace of god the bible says the peace of god that surpasses all understanding let it garrison your heart that means the moment i'm about to take a decision or i'm trusting god for a revelation over a decision and your peace supernaturally ceases and there is no joy let me tell you joy is not happiness hear me there are times you'll be weeping and yet have joy joy don't confuse joy with happiness happiness is circumstantial if i give you one thousand naira, i expect you to be happy not necessarily joyful There's a song that we used to sing I still have joy I still have joy after all I've been through I still have joy I still have peace I still have peace after all I've been through I still have peace so joy and peace let me tell you there is no man who is not born again who can have peace he says peace i give you peace is only truly experienced not is it's not just the word shalom shalom just means a state of rest right nothing missing nothing broken no that's not the word that is used there he said the best way to describe that kind of peace was a description of the psalmist he makes me lie down in still waters peace and joy there are many of us look up please as pastors as leaders as individuals as business people we have been praying and trusting god over certain decisions or we are on our way executing certain decisions and your peace is lifted let me tell you the absence of peace is the absence of the presence of the kingdom which is the absence of the will of god being done because connecting these two scriptures the will of god done his kingdom comes and his kingdom is made of peace and joy so wherever the will of god is finds expression there is peace and there is joy say amen, amen. the peace of god that surpasses all understanding he says is to garrison our hearts praise the lord so a lady is about to get married please listen what i'm saying is very serious i want us to pay attention god put this in my heart and i believe it's a blessing for all of us are we together you may be born again you may be tongue talking now watch this um my dear come let me use any of you come now watch this this lady watch this please I come and ask this lady out as an anointed man and she loves God she knows I'm a responsible person are you hearing what I'm saying I'm using a case study now to show you how to communicate and to discern the revealed will of God and then all of a sudden she wants to tell me yes now listen but in her place of prayer something is happening to her peace and her joy let me tell you when your peace and joy lives especially when there is no physical reason for it it's a language in the realm of the spirit don't you ever ignore it when you lack explanation as to why you do not have peace over a matter it's a sign to go to god no matter what you are doing stop where you are and find out i don't know why i started with the issue of marriage but let's continue 
God is speaking. Listen. Listen carefully. Do you know that this lady may have her peace and joy being threatened every time she, she thinks of saying yes to me? Now, it's up to her to numb the peace and bind it and cast it and get married to me and then after many years what her peace was saying later plays out have you seen people who say i knew it every time they get into trouble they say honestly and i knew this thing god was telling me i didn't listen let me tell you something the language of peace and joy are standard spiritual languages standard spiritual languages of communication god is helping somebody this night now listen do you know that god may be speaking to this lady and say there are three things her being afraid of answering me based on what she's feeling can mean three things number one it can mean that as good as i am as good as she is we are not the will of god for ourselves it's as simple as that you don't have to be bad number two listen it can be that i am of god for her however there are issues in my life that can implicate our marriage in the days to come so the peace refuses to leave you until that issue is dealt with assuming there is a covenant and i come from a family where all the women that marry men die that's what is about to happen to that lady and so god is that lack of peace god is saying this may be your will but there are issues to resolve now it's not the issue of marriage there is a spiritual issue or for instance god forbid but god may be speaking and say joshua selman if you marry this lady now she may have a problem with barrenness there is a spirit that is roaming around this life that may cause barrenness and he's saying i am seizing your peace so that you will deal with that issue have you not seen people when they are delivered they can get up and fall in love afresh it's like after that deliverance they get up and they are ready to move because the barrier has given way we ignore these things and we pay for it are we together a businessman is about to get into trouble and is calling you to come and partner with him and you love him sincerely but every time you want to move something in your spirit just tells you hold on and you just say no way anything that will stop my breakthrough you see let me tell you don't just be too scientific with god there are times you must maintain your spirituality at all times one little communication of peace can help you there are many ladies as you are looking at me right now you have gotten into needless troubles if only you listen to the prompting of peace and joy peace was speaking your eyes was seeing money and you followed your way to the grave are we together peace peace i remember one time a lady who was getting married they had even gone very far very far as in it was almost that time and the lady called me i was crying her life and said for over three days she had not slept she said it's as if she's entering hellfire literally you get up sometimes she said she can shake physically i said something is wrong run to your pastor go and talk to him she said ah but too many people have been committed i said who are the people who are the people they would dance on that day and leave you let me tell you something be strict about walking in the will of god i'm only using marriage as a case study but it applies to every area of your life please i love you and i want to be your roommate and the moment you you move something in you just says no and you are wondering ah but this brother or this sister is i mean the sweetest person as can ever be they don't have to be bad for your peace to leave you we are talking of the will of god here the will of god is as designed by god many of us think that when our peace and our joy leaves over an issue it simply means it's wrong you want to travel and your peace and joy leaves it doesn't mean you are going to have accident you will arrive safely it's just not consistent with the will of god for your life danger does not have to happen to prove that a thing is not the will of god for your life it can happen as planned which is even more dangerous Is God speaking to someone here?
peace and joy. Number two. Dreams, visions, and prophetic experiences. Dreams, visions, and prophetic experiences. I wish I didn't have to talk about this because I can spend, thank you my dear, I can spend a whole night vigil talking about this. A whole night vigil talking about this. Dreams, visions. Do you know Satan has so metamorphosed in his technology of manipulating dreams and visions right now? To an extent that many people are even afraid of their dreams and visions the devil is a liar in the name of jesus christ let me tell you something anything that is written in the bible is still being used by god is still a valid tool i know that there are all kinds of perversions there are many of us if you hear dream and vision resentment comes in your heart because almost 95 percent of everything you have seen as dreams and visions either did not happen in your life or backfired on you so because of that you hate dreams and visions that's not true the bible says joel chapter 2 it says, I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Are we together? And then it says, your young men shall what? See visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. So visions and dreams and supernatural experiences, though being perverted, is still a tool that God uses to communicate his revealed will to people. If I begin to tell you how and why dreams are perverted, we'll have to go into the subject of demonology, the operation of demons. And I'm not sure our time is, is, is up practically, so we'll just leave it for another time. But let me tell you something. Dreams can be manipulated. Visions can be manipulated. Prophetic experiences can be manipulated. However, however, listen to me. There is a way you walk with God to an extent that your dreams and visions become express revelations. I know people today who are walking effortlessly in the will of God thanks to dreams, visions, and solid, notice my use of word, solid prophetic experiences. Not opinions. Solid prophetic experiences. Not, oh God, if it's your will, let boss carry us after koinonia. That's not a wise that's not a wise riddle that you play with God. A lot of us do a lot of stupid things. Lord, if it is your will, as I'm coming out, Charles must tell me good evening. That means I should, I should go home after exams. You know, all those kind of things are not wise. We, we fool ourselves when we do that. Look at me. When Herod was planning to kill baby Jesus... Did you know that it was a dream? Huh? Imagine if Joseph got up and said, ah, that's a dream, kill with Jesus. Jesus, they would, have, they, would have, they would have butchered him into pieces. The only thing is he wouldn't have died because he's the word. Are you getting the point now? But he would have sabotaged his agenda because he was wearing a human body. He was in all ways tempted like us, meaning he could face our limitations. A dream! Joseph was going to divorce Mary. He found out that Mary was pregnant and Joseph said, you too, you know, I'm not part of this. I don't know what happened to you. I'm about to leave you quietly. The Bible says he was going to leave her quietly and it was in a dream. The angel said, uh-uh, do not be afraid to take this woman, right? That's this and that for that which is in her, that holy thing, it shall be called the son of the highest. And on the strength of that dream, Joseph came and said, no problem. He continued with her dreams dreams the salvation of egypt was in a dream the king slept and he had a dream seven seasons of plenty seven seasons of lack he got up with that dream someone interpreted the dream built a strategy around the dream and salvaged the destiny of a nation are we together dreams and visions are real in fact, the salvation of we, the Gentiles, happened through a vision. Is that true? I hope you know before Acts chapter 10, no Gentile was saved. It was the Jews. Right? It was in Acts chapter 10 when Peter was caught up in a trance. And then something came down from heaven. Imagine if Peter saw the trance and said, God forbid. No Cornelius house, 
no salvation of the Gentiles, all of us will be going to hellfire. We're spiritual Jews, but physically we're Gentiles, I assure you. It was a salvation that happened in Cornelius' house that spread to us dreams, visions. There are certain decisions I've taken over my life, over this ministry by the grace of God, that were on the strength of dreams and visions. God continues to show me visions today, directions, communications of the Spirit. So it is one way to know the revealed will of God. Now let me tell you something very quickly about dreams and visions. You don't have them at will. You have to learn this. Because through witchcraft and Scientology, you can be manipulated to start having and seeing things at will. That is rubbish and jargon. It is exclusively the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Communicating things to you according to the purposes of God. Not according to your desire. So whether God reveals to me through a vision, a prophetic experience, a dream. It is I can ask him. Right? And then pending on the gravity of the confirmation. He can use multiple spiritual channels. However, it is exclusively of the spirit. My call into ministry. The peace and the joy, the conviction and all of that. But then visions, dreams, prophetic experiences have added to support my conviction. And today, millions of people are benefiting from that. The last dimension of the speakings of God over his revealed will is the prophetic now i said prophetic experiences before i mean just any supernatural experience but the prophetic let me say that and then we'll pray and tie it up have you been blessed listen carefully please the prophetic now we just finished dealing on the subject of the body of christ and i told us remember our teaching last week at charity and faith that every provision about the will of God or every provision about the possibilities of God are embedded in the body. Is that true? Remember the teaching. It may not be at work in your life. It may not be a dimension open to you as a person, a unique member in the body. However, that possibility is where? In the body. Is that true? Now, there are people scattered all around that God has committed and he's still trusting with the gifts of prophecy and others being called into the prophetic and all kinds of prophetic and apostolic offices that are helping the body communicate what is supposed to be the will of God. So we see from the Bible, Agabus was one of the prophets who God used to speak to Paul. Is that true? Saul and, 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 and all of that and, and then to speak to him and all through scripture we see that God has used prophets to speak to people the prophetic is real and it can give direction the prophetic is real and can give direction the prophetic is a system and a ministry that God designed to help men access the mind of God and access the will of God there are times here by the grace of God that we have called people through the agency of the prophetic and communicated words for them. I have counseled people and communicated things to them um, by the grace of God. They have run with these things and their lives have changed. So the prophetic is very powerful in communicating the revealed will of God, the unique will of God. However, however, let me say this and then we'll tie it up for tonight. There is... Or there are two big limitations to the prophetic in themselves. Number one is that the accuracy of reception and interpretation, write it. The accuracy of reception and interpretation is subject to the man of God's personal word content. The accuracy, listen, of both reception of the vision or the word and its communication is largely subject to the man of God's degree or his word content. Now please look up. This is very important. 
I was teaching in Enugu and, 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 and I said this to them. I think it was during the minister's session. I told them that the danger with the prophetic is this. The manifestation of the gifts of the spirit, whether prophetic or any other manifestation, will never replace the place of getting the word of God seated in your heart. Are we together? Because I told you that one of the things we receive from the word of God is the character of God. Say the character of God and the operation of God. When you study the Bible, you know how God works. So with that knowledge of how God works, you will be able to interpret prophetic happenings in the light of the way God works. But most of the largely apostolic and prophetic voices that we've had especially in recent times are men and women who either transited from idol worship are we together they also had their prophetic dimensions and then they now stepped into the prophetic and so there is that corruption because of the absence of the word of god that inability to process spiritual things from the lens of the word of god is responsible for the error in both reception and communication remember when jesus spoke to the man and his eyes were open the bible says he laid hands on him and he said what do you see the man did not see correctly he said he saw men like trees so if you were to ask that man to prophesy he would say this tree stand up was that a tree it was what his eyes saw son of man what seest thou an almond tree you have seen correctly meaning a man can see wrongly that does not mean you are of the devil but that it is your word content that accelerates your degree of reception number one and two your interpretation do you know that if i do not understand the scripture for instance God can open my eyes right now and I can look at Shalhoma. Are we together? Let's assume for instance that there is witchcraft in her family. Now, I have not studied the Bible to understand the dimensions of the operations of demon spirit in the lives of people. Any vision I see like that, I will call it demon possession because that is what my understanding has given me. So, when I see a spiritual thing wrong with her life, instead of separating it from her i now look and say shahoma stand up you are possessed based on what i'm seeing you are possessed and i pray for her and she starts manifesting and she will go back wondering what her prayer and fasting has done and she's now saying so i cannot understand i love god i am born again i'm filled with the holy spirit what is this one that i'm possessed again the name is not possession my inability to understand the word of god is what made me name it possession but the recipient now has received this as possession are you seeing the number one error with the prophetic so most apostles and prophets don't study the bible because they think they are open and inclined to perceptions in the realm of the spirit and they feel if, if i can see why should i read it let me tell you something every time you attempt to operate the prophetic without the word of god your chances of dabbling into witchcraft and error is very high no matter who you are you don't have to be fake the word of god is what gives they are the guidelines for operating the prophetic so you operate the prophetic within the jurisdiction of the word of god are we together if i look at pastor alpha and his wife for instance and god reveals something to me about pastor alpha or his wife that is quite serious and i know is capable of destroying their marriage now watch this i am seeing a vision something for instance about pastor alpha and his wife are we together but i also know that God is not the author of confusion. He will not come and destroy a family. That understanding will help me in the communication. I may tell the wife, please see me after service. And I discuss it personally. 
Are you seeing that now? My inability to understand that I can open my mouth and just say something and say it to the man and think I'm communicating prophetically and after service, they march straight to the court and get a divorce. Courtesy, the prophetic. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are many women that have been made to leave their husbands. So said the prophet. Madam, this your husband is, is irrecoverable. The way he has already left the things of God into witchcraft. And the solution is to leave the man. Or to tell the man the solution is to leave the woman. Including men of God. Including different kinds of people. The prophetic that compromises the character of the word is not accurate. Any prophetic communication that compromises the character of the word of God is not accurate. It should be re-edited and reconsidered both by the communicator and the recipient. Any dimension, even if it's from Joshua Selman, if it is not consistent with the character of the word of God. Why am I teaching you this? Look at me. You are going to go for meetings in your lifetime you are going to meet great and mighty men prophets of god are we together and they are going to speak to you at one point or the other they are not fake they are not devils but you must have an, a discernment the moment you look at a prophet you should have discernment to process the spiritual level separate the gift from his spiritual growth that he's operating in the prophetic does not mean he's matured spiritually it's a gift are we together so chances are that he can speak to you and you know what part of the prophecy to receive and what part to throw into the dustbin. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. And then there are certain aspects of prophetic communications that are true, but they are coming to you so that you will change it. Not just sit down helplessly and make it happen. Are we together? Yesterday, I was when we were um, these guys did not even know i'm sure they'll be surprised to hear it now we're coming back and when we're going to the airport to come back you know someone called me and um she was telling me that she had a dream and she saw a plane crash you know this and that a plane crash and and truly truly this is somebody that i know that the the word of the lord i know that she has a track record truly truly when she sees something or says something it happens and so she was afraid she said are you people going you know this and that and that and i said yes and uh i know what imagine that i did not have the bank of the word of god till today i'll be in any war. waiting for the day another word will come and say now the road is clear but now what the person saw may not be wrong but there is a more sure word of prophecy are we together now so that may be the plan of the devil for me to die yesterday in the air are we together but i knew that if i enter it will not crash now that's another level of conviction it's not about bragging my strength is not on a, the written word of god that is more exalted above his name and any prophecy because we see in part and we prophesy in part Are we together now? Yeah. A man of God once prophesied to a woman, a very accurate man of God, young man and all of that. I, I don't know which of the cities he is in and all of that. He prophesied to a woman and um, he told her she was going to have a baby girl. And the woman was trusting God for a baby boy. She had sown seeds and this. she went to God and she said, Lord, I, I respect and honor that prophet, but it's a baby boy. I tell you, there is a solid, bouncing baby boy came out. Look, let me tell you. The part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you. If someone tells me today, you are going to die, it may be true. God opened his eyes to see demons plotting on how to die. <laughs> I'll, 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 go and, I'll go and die. But I'm not even going to pray about it. I'm going to go home quietly and sit down. Even if the devil drives my car, he will take me home. Are you getting what I'm saying? You must, you must have a settled... Now, don't brag for nothing. I know the burning bush I have seen that gives me the audacity to make that statement. Are 
I've seen death eyeball to eyeball. I know it. I know how it looks. It knows how I look. So it's not that I'm just talking for nothing. Honestly. Tomorrow we're off to Ibadan again. Who knows what the devil is planning this night? Maybe they are planning and say, okay, we lost our chance. Now is the next chance. They are free to plan. The Bible never stopped them from planning. The power of performance is where the sovereignty of God comes in. He says, surely they will gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, it will scatter. Otherwise, you will land into trouble. Someone will look at you and say, oh, you do not have a fallopian tube. Based on what God is revealing to me, Kai, there's no fallopian tube, no child. And you go back saying, talk. The way this thing is, I will just go and adopt a child and the man who married you is regretting and angry and wondering why. But the Bible says, and God opened the womb of Leah. It's none of your business where the child will grow. Whether it's your head, wherever, let the child grow and come out after nine months. It's none of your business where the child grows. History has recorded women who gave birth to twins with no womb. Twins, not even a child. Are we together? The will of God. Finally, there is a system that God built in the body to help us grow to a point of discernment where we can receive his revealed will. And that system is called praying in the spirit. Please write it down. There are not many systems to discernment. Praying in the spirit. I didn't know time had gone so much. Oh my God. Everybody say praying in the spirit. Say it again. Say praying in tongues. Now let me tell you something. Look up please. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. When you read verse 2, you read verse 4. It says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Listen please believers. It says, Edifieth himself edifieth himself he that speaketh in an unknown tongue does what edifieth himself the believer who does not pray in the spirit i guarantee you will have a hard time discerning the revealed will of god you can check scripture and see it, but when it comes to your everyday decisions as far as the advancement of your life is concerned you will find out that you've not been able to build your spirit to rise beyond the level of the flesh. So the devil can manipulate your dreams. Are we together? Today, you will dream and see yourself in Abuja. Just when you, are, you want to find out the next day, you will see yourself in Ogun. The devil is playing with your mind. Because God is not an author of confusion. Are we together? Next tomorrow, you see yourself in London. After seeing yourself four times, you give up using dreams and you sit down and you don't move forward again satan can manipulate dreams but brothers and sisters there is a level to which your spirit will rise that no power of darkness will near anything that is a channel for spiritual communication in your life there is no devil who will come to me in my dreams and manipulate me no 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 even in my sleep there is a garrison of the word of god Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. When you cultivate the art of praying in the spirit, you are not only granting access for your petitions. You are not only challenging the powers that be. Listen, you are edifying yourself. And one of the ways to edify yourself is to build yourself to a point where you sustain the ability to discern. Many believers do not have discernment many believers do not have discernment god will want to communicate certain realities to us but our spirits are too dappled in the flesh we cannot receive the promptings of the spirit when his will is done his kingdom comes the will as written from scripture should be obeyed to the latter without any compromise but that part of the will that has to be revealed is accessed largely through discernment. 
discernment will also help you to dream correctly not dream foolishly you are trusting god for direction a serious direction you have a dream and you saw yourself drinking ice cream how does that relate to what you are laboring and fasting for don't laugh in the bible when men slept god showed them dreams that were consistent with their desires but right now dreams have been devalued because we are communicating carnally the devil is a liar in the name of jesus rise up on your feet we are going to pray three quick prayer points very quickly three quick prayer points make sure you pray them with all your heart prayer point number one lord grant me grace to be obedient to your will as revealed in scripture go ahead and pray go ahead and pray there are dimensions of his will that has been revealed in scripture you don't have to ask god all you need is the grace all you need is the grace to walk in it are you praying koinonia inside and outside pray grant me grace grant me grace it is your will for me to prosper it's already revealed in scripture grant me grace to live by the principles it is your will for me to succeed in my exams it's revealed in scripture grant me grace grant me grace it is your will for me to rise and be world class may i never doubt your written will for me let the consciousness of what you have written in the bible give me confidence it is your will for me to be healed i receive grace to never accommodate sickness in my life it is your will for me to give birth grant me grace to never accommodate barrenness in my life please pray pray you are building yourself if you must fulfill destiny it will only be according to the will of god and the first dimension of his will is his written will access from scripture hallelujah 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 listen never ask god if it's his will over something that has been clearly stated in the bible don't ever ask god if it's his will to heal you don't ever ask god if it's his will for you to live long are we together don't ever ask god if it's his will for you to prosper don't ever ask god if it's his will for your business to expand it's his written will second prayer point you're going to pray and say lord every direction i need that i have not directly found in scripture i pray that you reveal it to me please pray every direction i need